a school of fish can move like it was a single organism. How do they all know when to turn? Do they have waterproof cell phones? Where do they charge them? Well, fish don't actually need any technology to move around. And mathematics tells us that if each individual follows three simple rules, then the whole group starts to move as one. In this video, I will explain those rules and show their effect one by one using computer animation. The starting point is code that draws a simple fish at a given point and direction. The code is written in MATLAB and you can find a link to it in the video description. To make an animation, the fish needs to be drawn in a new position in every frame. Usually there are 30 or 60 frames per second in animation videos. Here the direction of the fish stays the same to the right, but I am adding a little to the X coordinate of the fish in every time step. I can even place several fish in the digital pond and let them move in the same way. However, this rigid formation doesn't really give an idea of a natural school of fish. How about varying the directions of the fish? Let's put again 25 fish in the same positions, but with random initial directions. Well, the movement of this group is not as rigid uh, as that of the previous one, but still weird. The fish do not pay any attention to each other. We need to start introducing some rules. There are three of them. One, do not bump into others. Two, stay close to the group. Three, match your swimming direction with your neighbors. This is how I implement rule one. First of all, the red fish takes into account only close by fish. And here close by means the ones within the red circle whose radius can be chosen in the code. Then the red fish looks around and seeks for the direction with the least number of neighbors. Once that direction is found, the fish turns towards it slightly. Next, I make the whole school of fish observe rule one. How do I do that? Well, given the current frame, I go through all the fish, making them red one by one, and calculating where they should move in the next frame. Let's release the digital fish again in the random directions and enforce rule one. You can see how they are avoiding each other before disappearing outside the image. Let's try to make the fish bump into each other more. Now they have their starting directions all towards the center. The fish are avoiding collisions pretty well. But this is not yet collective behavior. Each fish is just following its own direction after meetings with the others. We need more rules. Rule two is stay close to the group. Like before, the red fish takes into account only neighboring fish within the red circle. The fish estimates where the center of mass of the close by group is. The next movement is then a combination of forward and towards the center. Also, there's an exception to rule two. If there are at most three fish in the red circle, then the red fish picks the direction towards the center of the whole school instead of just the local group. The exception to rule two Make sure that the fish at the boundary of the school will not start to drift away. What happens if I enforce just rule two? Well, the fish are certainly forming a close-knit group, but this is such a bad model for school behavior. How about using both rules one and two? Avoid collisions while staying close by. Well, now the fish are not as crammed as with rule two only. But this is still not the natural collective movement we are trying to model. We need one more rule. Let me explain the implementation of rule three. Match swimming direction with neighbors. Again, the red fish looks at the neighbors in the red circle, 
and it adjusts the direction so that it aligns with the close by fish. Let's now check out the effect of only rule three. We see alignments here and there, but the whole school is not moving in any natural way. The fish that took a common direction moved together in a curiously rigid way. I think it's time to enforce all three rules. Well, now the 25 digital fish stick together and swim in a collective formation. Since this is a computational simulation, we can insert more fish. We arrive at various forms of collective behavior by varying the relative weight put on each of the rules and changing the radii of the red circles determining close neighbors. As a final touch, I implemented periodic boundary conditions for the computational domain. Then the fish will not escape outside the screen, but instead reappear on the other side. That makes it possible to observe the behavior for a longer time. If you want to try out your own computations, just download my MATLAB codes. The link is in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the digital fish movement. Please hit like and subscribe to my channel to see more cool math and science content. See you next time.